Hey guys, John from Web Mechanic here. In this video, I'd like to walk you through the process of activating a My Web Mechanic free trial and show you around the software a bit. But first, let's look at some of the reasons you'd even want to have a try of it in the first place. First of all, you're able to deploy new instances of Mortic's open source marketing automation in just a matter of minutes. Through the agency portal, you can easily manage your clients' accounts and monitor their use, such as the number of contacts in their database and their configuration level. You can easily set up emailing for unlimited email sending at no extra cost thanks to our partnership with MailJet. You can decide which European country you want each instance and the data for it to be hosted in. And you'll be able to access all of your billing online. To have access to all of that, you're going to need a free trial code, which you can get by contacting a member of the Web Mechanic team. And you're going to need to know how to activate it. So. Let's jump into it. You'll want to go into my.webmechanic.com forward slash register and put in all of your registration details. For the sake of time, I've already entered all of mine. Then read the terms and conditions carefully. And if you accept them, tick the box and then sign up. As soon as you do, you'll be brought to the My Web Mechanic dashboard, which shows you an overview of all of your deployed instances. To add a new one, you can click on the purple add a customer option on the left or the blue button. They're both the same. But it won't be possible with a 30 day trial as you'll only be able to set up one new instance of automation. I'll just enter here my first and last name and my phone number, which are the only three required fields, and add my job title and language preferences for internal purposes. From this point, we then need to decide upon an automation URL, which is what you'll have to visit any time you want to access this particular instance of automation. And here I think my WMK demo is uh, catchy enough. And just enter the account name for automation, which can be changed later, the email address you want automation to send from by default, and where in Europe you want the server to be located, finally clicking on the blue button at the bottom of the page. Once we've done all of that, all we need to do is wait. Your automation and MailJet integration is being set up, and after no more than 10 to 15 minutes, you should receive two emails from Mr. Prashd, our CMO. The first will contain some information on how to link up the tracking with your website and verify your domain name for sending emails. And the other one is where all the juicy details are. So your automation URL, username and generated password, which you should change is immediately upon signing in. I just want to test that it's all working now. So I'm going to copy my password and then paste over. And there we have it. Automation has been deployed. We just need to do some synchronization and then we can begin automating. So to get to the technical details for synchronization, we go back to My Web Mechanic and click on the magnifying glass under technical detail. Here you can see the option to upload a template, which can be applied to your emails and landing pages, for example, so that you can keep a consistent corporate image across all of your communication with your contacts. And under that, you can find all of the technical details. The first parts are so that MailJet can verify that you own the domain name you want to send emails from, and the pixel section is a bit of code that you copy to the HTML header of you or your client's website to activate the tracking across all web pages. In addition, My Web Mechanic also allows you to view all of your billing online. You can change the language to either English, French or German. And of course, you can update your contact and agency details by clicking at the top right. Here you can add your address and change the billing language, for example, and see how long left you have on your free trial to go. Like I said, if you'd like a free trial, feel free to get in touch directly with myself through the contact details on screen, or you can go to the contact page on our website, webmechanic.com, tweet us on webmechanic underscore en or underscore de for German tweets, or no suffix uh, for French tweets, and you can follow us under the name webmechanic on LinkedIn. I look forward to hearing from you all, and I hope you found this walkthrough useful.